Hello everybody, this is Bench85. Welcome to episode 3 of You Play Kerbal Space Program. I'm actually doing this little section live here because it'll be a little easier to explain what I all did here. Uh, a little bit off camera. Um, I was doing some contracts, although my funds are down a little bit because I have been upgrading some things. Um, as you know, we had upgraded the launch pad last time. I upgraded the tracking station to get patched conics. Why is that important? Well, Ooh, unowned object tracking. Oh, that'll get us, uh... I think asteroids will become available at that point, then. Um, patch conics will help us when we're getting to the moon. And basically what that is, is... Um, if you're using maneuver nodes and planning out maneuvers, uh, normally all it would show is your orbit going out to the moon, let's say, and that's it. It wouldn't actually show you anything else. Uh, patch Connex allows you to see the next stage of the orbit, thereby seeing um, your possible periapsis, apoapsis, however you want to say it, um, if you get into the moon's sphere of influence. Very important now as we're going to start sending things, well, out into the system. Uh, we also upgraded mission control. Um, the biggest reason being to get the max active contracts to seven. Uh, flight planning available. I'm not sure what that means yet. Um, I'm gonna have to see down the road what that means. Space sail hangar. We haven't touched because we don't have any of those things. Uh, the other thing we did is we upgraded the astronaut complex. Capacity of 12 active Kerbals doesn't really apply at the moment, but it will in this will soon. Uh, Kerbals can perform EVAs. That's a big one because now we actually get the ability to um, to get EVA uh, reports, which is huge. Um, probably gonna have to upgrade this guy pretty soon, especially since we're going to need to be able to collect surface samples and also resource transfer available is gonna be important. But this guy is the biggest thing. We're going to want to get the parts count up because we are hitting the 30 part count and the science gatherer version 1 here isn't as good as I'd want it to be but unfortunately I just don't have the ability Ooh, it's going to be a morning launch to get enough parts into it so we're going to have to deal with what we have here uh, not a morning launch midday almost Uh, but while we're at it here, what I want to do, I want to roll this out because we need to get science. That's what we're hurting on right now. We need science. Uh, we need to unlock better parts, especially solar panels, so we can get some probes running and start mapping out. Um, oh. Let me, uh. We're not going to do a nighttime launch. Why would we do a nighttime launch? We're going to do a morning launch. So we're going to warm. Thank you. Warp to the next morning. And actually, one thing we're going to do here. I do not have that available to me. Uh, I'm looking for a Kerbal Alarm Clock. Uh, let's go into here. I was thinking Kerbal Alarm Clock allowed you to see it in the screen, but apparently you can't. Um, by the way, I figured this out. These are all the locations of some of the uh, contracts that you can get. Maybe Kerbal Alarm Clock isn't allowed yet. I thought it allowed me to do flight planning. Oh, wait, no. That's because it's here. Ah. Let's go back out of here. Let's go back to the main screen. I forgot. It's a. Oh, no. Um, it utilizes that. Okay, we need to set a couple alarms here. 
we want to add transfer windows from curb in here and we want to check how far away they are uh, apparently we're like dead on a moho transfer we're 400 days away from an eve transfer so I'm actually gonna add that alarm to Duna Basically, I want to keep track of this because we're going to want to start sending. Um, we're going to want to start at sending different probes and different show full list. Okay, here we go. Ooh, we're not far off from a jewel transfer. Let's just create alarms for all. Perfect. Uh, this one we're going to want to get rid of, and this one we're going to want to get rid of. We don't need doubles. And we're going to utilize this alarm clock a lot more uh, when we start getting multiple flights going. So we're just going to leave that open. Um, actually, I'm not going to minimize that. That way I can see them all. But obviously the Moho one is not going to be very important. So... We need to launch it. So with that, I'm going to switch over to non-live time so we can speed things up and go through other ways. Alright, so here we are with Valentina's flight. Should be an exciting one, right? Oh, um, wait. Stages aren't quite right. Probably should have done that back at the BAB, but uh, we got all good now. We have a takeoff, a launch, and it is not doing so well. Oh, oh, oh. Try to keep it straight. Kind of try to keep it straight. All right, we got it back on straight up again. I uh, decided to send some data here and got some interesting noises out of it and oh we lost our motor we lost the engine so we should probably salvage something get her upright again and take off again so this is going to be a very short short orbital flight for Valentina her first flight actually uh, yeah I didn't try to click EVA report I just decided to give that to me and I really didn't want to get her out um kind of nice having the ability to do an EVA report and if we actually wait until we get to the very top of our uh, apoapsis here she can get out do an EVA report save it get back in and we do not have to worry about the atmosphere ripping us off which that seems like a pretty good thing to me so we'll detach Make sure to keep it upright and bring it back down. Oh, our boosters are hitting. Hopefully we're not hitting KSC with it because I really don't want to have to pay the damage costs if we decide to blow up a building because trust me you get you get nailed for costs on that if you do it. So basically as we're coming down here our goal in the series here at least for the short term. Uh, we gotta get another explosion. More explosions. Oh, we got a part here. Uh, we're just trying to get enough science and get enough time in here that we get uh, unmanned probes. Kerbals do it a little bit backwards where we do the the manned missions first and then we decide to send probes afterwards. Why, I'm not sure. But it's just the way we do things. But once we get our probes, we should be able to start sending some scanning capabilities uh, to the other planets. And then we can actually start talking about the planets and the moons as we go, uh, which I think is going to be very beneficial. Uh, I should give you guys ideas as far as what we might want to do. 
I uh, figured Valentina might want to go and check out and see what this little thing is over here. Uh, I was pretty sure it was a decoupler, because they seem to be extremely strong. And it is actually the fairing. Or decoupler fairing for the uh, the shield, or the heat shield. It goes over the heat shield. So, we gotta get her back. And of course I have trouble getting back in the capsule, so it's a lot of messing around trying to get up. A lot of falling. I don't know why I did this, because to be honest, I could have just recovered her and then recovered the spacecraft as well. Oh, 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 almost had it. So as far as man missions go, uh, we need to be able to get definitely onto the moon and Minmus as well. Uh, there's plenty of science there that we can work with. I don't believe how hard it is without a ladder to get up this darn thing. Still haven't gotten up. This is kind of ridiculous. I forgot how long this went. <laughs> I think we're going to get it here. We're going to get it. Oh, 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 I thought we had it. You see it there we go recover and you can see we got a pretty good amount of science 54 almost 55 science which is very respectable for a technically a failed mission uh, we need to start looking here into what we need next storage isn't too bad to work with the electrics is a big thing so we can get solar panels those are miniature parts for small space probes. I have no idea what the beer is. Uh, aerodynamic parts, so we could actually start building some planes, which actually isn't a bad idea. Uh, that's the big stuff. Ooh, this mobile science station is in there too. Some more rocket stuff. That's a good one actually, because we can get that lander uh, upper stage engine. I like using that 909 a lot. So we're probably going to adjust it a little bit here. The biggest thing is I think we need a little more fuel in the top stage because that ran out way too soon. Oh, we're just going to put the swivel on. Oh, because oh, we just got the swivel. So let's try this again. And this time it seems to want to go headed no well actually headed south. Not much we can do at the moment. Just try to hold it. I started the uh, gimbling engine there trying to straighten her out a little bit. Hoping we can get this in time. Staged it out, fired the rockets to try and <laughs> Wow. So that happened really fast. Basically staged out as fast as I could, got the parachutes deployed, and figured we'd do some science while we drift down. So Valentina is now 0 for 2. So I'm pretty sure Jeb's going to be giving her a really hard time back in the astronaut complex because, well, you just can't be a pilot and be failing missions like this, but this is also the the learning curve that goes on and I probably should have been testing these rockets using the uh, the simulate that is built into Kerbal uh, construction time but thought I'd just go with it and I actually got a lot of science there again so what do we need to do well we need to move it a little bit for one we need to get some now I'll put some more fuel up on top We're going to leave those boosters on and we're going to put some fins. Well, that's where our problem is. We have too many parts. So if we put, take the tank out, put a pair of fins on, we should be right at 30 parts. Dead on 30 parts. Yep. And those fins should help to guide us straight up, at least the beginning portion, until we get out of the atmosphere, or at least the thicker part. At least that's the idea. 
So, Valentina, are you ready for your third launch? And we're drifting, we're drifting north this time. Just gotta keep the nose up as much as possible. We can do an early gravity turn. It gets us away from KSC too, so we don't drop boosters on. There we go. I also made sure to change the staging so that the engine fired with the decouplers so it kicked the rocket out from the boosters uh, pretty powerfully. And uh, seemed to work better than the first time when we decided to drop that or take out that engine on our first flight. So now we're just burning up, burning towards an, uh, an apoapsis. It's just hitting 35 kilometers. 70 kilometers is obviously the edge of the atmosphere going into space. We're going to cut back throttles here a little bit because we are burning up. Uh, we did that early gravity turn, so we're going too fast for what the atmosphere is allowing us to go through. And we're nearing 70. We're just bringing the nose down and burning horizontally. Try and get ourselves cruising. We haven't got our contracts yet, which is do space around Kerbin, which we haven't got to space yet. And the other one is uh, perform a spacewalk. There we go, we are in space. We're doing our different science things and keeping them. We might as well do an EVA report. Uh, or not. Oh yeah, we're near an apoapsis. So we should probably get ready to to burn again. There we go. End of that stage. Kick it. Burning again. And we really don't have that far to go. And just like that, we are in space. 72 by 90. Perfectly acceptable. So let's do our spacewalk. We just got our spacewalk near Kerbin. Uh, that contract. We relogged the temperature and realized that there's. I can't do anything because. Well, I can't. So we're going to send the crew report instead. Because we I realized afterwards that I could either send it or recover it. Decided to send it. Not a big deal. Uh, it still works out the same way. But then as I'm going around, I start to realize I'm crossing a lot of biomes. So each time it pops up, I keep doing an EVA report, grabbing them. And because they're from a different... A biome you can keep taking in multiple EVA reports so even though you can only you know do one EVA, re EVA report at a time when you get back in you can save a bunch of them in the actual capsule which is huge especially for a mission like this where you can just keep going around and around on this polar orbit so I figure I'm gonna do one more orbit here See if I can get anything else. Just trying to find them. And the worst one, the one I couldn't get, is Shores. Because Shores is such a small little space. And, you know, it's right next to the water. So as soon as I get out, well, it just doesn't seem to, to work out so well. And I noticed Planet Shine doesn't seem to be functioning again, so it is really dark. I apologize. And there you saw one where I had already done it from the Kerbin. I think it was the Highlands. So it won't let you get in. It'll either overwrite the data that's in the capsule or it'll dump the experiment and not bring it in with you. Alright, so we're coming back around. Looking for more. Figuring that if we're going to get... 
Yep, see, I didn't get that one over Kerbin's Waters. That's when I realized Shores is what I need. And again, I noticed uh, this episode again that it's cutting off the top and the bottom. I'm going to have to change how it records KSP. K K yeah, KSP, Kerbal Space Program. Because for some reason, it's not recording it properly and uh, not getting the whole screen. So we're coming back. There's this landmass up above right here. I was hoping I could get an encounter with the shore. And I got the desert. Which still works. Or maybe I've already gotten that one. Trying to get it, trying to get it. And I realized I just gotta do it quicker. Just not doing it quick enough. So I decided, hey, it's time for us to to come back. So I burn retrograde. And periaps is to about 30, 38, 39, somewhere in there. I'm still trying to get that EVA report. And I think the problem was I kept trying to click on her. And it takes too long to try and right click on her to get the uh, the screen to show up. You probably should just keep clicking on EVA report. Because if you click it once, it gets you out of the capsule. If you click it again, it should take the EVA report. So you should be able to do two quick clicks and make it work. So I'm coming through here. We're almost to the atmosphere. Still hear the music, so I know we're still not we're still up in space. Unfortunately, you guys can't actually see the altimeter up there. I was hoping I could get shores around the, over that lake, but I realized it's not the correct biome for that. So we're going back over the North Pole here. The music has stopped, so we are. Coming through the atmosphere now. And you can see our periapsis and our apoapsis are starting to shift, starting to come down. So we are on our way inbound to the planet. We are going to be landing this time around. I'm pretty soon I start to worry a little bit because there's a lot of surface area and we're going to be streaking across the sky in this. The stock deadly reentry is, well, it can make for an interesting ride through here. So I wasn't sure how this was going to work out. You can see it's starting to get warm. So I just start to worry, well, what what could happen? Oh, we are way off kilt. Oh, because I didn't have uh, SAS enabled there. I start testing to see if I can keep that off and just let it guide itself, but I can't. Uh, the reason I wanted it to guide itself is that SAS uses electricity and we don't exactly have a lot stored up, especially now that we got, well, if we had um, solar panels, we probably would have lost them on the way in. So she's getting warm and I know it's going to be a very shallow dive, so we're going to spend a lot of time in this heated atmosphere area. So it's more of a worry of what's going to happen. Are things going to get hot? You start watching. Start looking and not too long into it we start to get the temperature bars for things overheating. In particular, the goof canisters because they're the ones that are sticking out. There's the color, the, the bar. So what I start doing is I basically start shimmying the aircraft left and right, left and right, back and forth. Letting the heat hit one goo container, then back over and hit the other goo container, and just keep rocking it back and forth. Um, it works for this. It works this time at least. Uh, next time around, I'll probably put those goo containers in like a cargo bay or something. So basically, that's all there is to this from here on out is just trying to keep those goo containers and the capsule itself from getting too uh, warm. You'll notice already if you look at Flight Engineer that our... Oh, actually I've switched to surface. So, never mind. So 
So vertical speed's coming down, horizontal speed's coming down. We are starting to make progress. And you can see that bar on that backside is getting so close. She is getting hot. I mean, really hot. Oh, it's so close to popping. And I was afraid too that, I mean, if I lost a goo container, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But what I was worried about is if I did uh, pop one of the goo containers, you know, was it going to take something else with it? Um, I was a bit worried about losing the uh, Science Junior or, as far as that goes, losing the heat shield itself if that goes. Uh, if we lose the heat shield, well, there's a very good chance that we're burning up. So we've got the parachutes popped, we're on our way down. We got a lot of EVA reports, so we should be able to get ourselves a lot of science here. Parachutes fully engage. Might as well do ourselves an EVA report right here. And try to speed it up enough that we can actually get down to the ground at a reasonable time here. Uh, especially since I want to show you guys how much science I got and I won't know until I touch the ground and I just went and cut the top parachute so we're down to two it's going so slow that I figured it would help speed it up a little bit so it still wants us to an EVA report even though it's one we've already done so let's back out to here we go 110 science in one mission that is a lot so we'll clear these out quick all right so here we are in the research department and we're looking And oh, we got solar panels, which we could really use. I think we should do electrics. Electrics is a good idea. No, I didn't say that one. I said electrics. No, 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 no. Electrics. Oh, uh, we purchased the arrow one because we do need to get into planes. Uh, that would be a good one to have. There we go. For the winglets. We've got a lot of stuff. Oh, electrics is already picked. So we've got four things queued up. Electrics is supposed to take half a year at 179 days. But thank you guys for watching. And as always, take it easy and fly safe.